Who's the person that comes to mind when I ask you, who's the best Minecraft speedrunner? Personally, I could ramble on for hours about how and what makes a runner good and how and what makes a runner great. But before I get into that, I have over 2,000 random people subscribed to me. And if I could get another 2,000 random people subscribed to me, that would be pretty cool. So you should join in on the fun. A runner named Feinberg, who I'm sure you've heard of before, is an absolute pioneer in MCSR, holding records all across the board in some of the biggest categories and also some interesting categories to say the least. Yes! But nonetheless, there aren't many people that share the same consistency, dedication and absolute pristine gameplay Feinberg holds. Just recently, he put himself in the top 3 in main 1.16 RSG, with a time of 9 minutes and 6 seconds, which that alone gives Feinberg all the recognition he needs, but just felt the urge to rub it in a little further. Ever since early February, Feinberg started a trek to finally bring a long dream to a close reached the human limit in possibly Minecraft's toughest battle of endurance, all advancements. Simple enough. To start off his journey, on February 4th, 2022, Feinberg beat Wet Sock Boy's world record by an extremely notable amount too. 3 hours, 33 minutes and 46 seconds was his final time, which was the largest time cut in all advancements since Eli Saku held his reign in the category all throughout 2021. Just a little before the run's end, Feinberg had no idea if he would even get the record. Why you may ask? Thunder. Thunder is single-handedly the biggest killer in all advancements, needed for the very very frightening and a throwaway joke advancements, and not to spoil what's up next in the video, but in the last 6 months alone, Feinberg should have had 21 world records, with 10 of them being lost to no thunderstorms, which typically occur 6 hours into the run, hence why in most cases, the average 3 hours for Feinberg isn't enough. In Feinberg's run, he got an undeniable stroke of luck towards the end, getting Thunder right as he entered back through to the overworld, allowing him to demolish the previous record by almost 40 minutes. This luck clearly wouldn't get in the way of him getting more records, because just six days later, he did it again. Nice! Not slip 330! Who cares? In fact, in March alone, he lowered the time down to 3.13, and in April, down to 3.08. Then came along May 20th, where Feinberg would shock the community more than he ever had done before. At 2 hours and 50 minutes, he got the How Did We Get Here and Furious Cocktail advancements, and all he had to do now was absolutely book it to the end dimension to complete his last few advancements. He surrounded the end fountain with crystals, drank some honey, slid down some honey, and then cheated his way out of death. All that was left was for the dragon to respawn, and as it did... There's no way! <laughs> Feinberg had just achieved his first of many sub threes to come, and I mean more to come because just 13 days later, he got another 251. Just a few days prior to the current record, he got another 251, where at that point, it was believed Feinberg had genuinely reached the human limit of AA. Human limit my ass, because on the 3rd of September, he would annihilate the record. Not only get a new world record of 2 hours and 44 minutes, Feinberg's 11th consecutive record in the category, but the absolute run of his life. Off the spawn, he spotted a desert temple right away. You might be thinking, in a normal speedrun, typically you skip the temple, with a lot of the time not getting a good amount of necessary items for the run. But this, I tell you, is no ordinary run. 
The benefit of desert temples in all advancements is the chance of getting enchanted books for tools and armor later on, gunpowder for firework rockets after he obtains an elytra, and of course, enchanted and regular golden apples to help out with the balanced die advancement. From the temple, he obtained 9 iron, 3 diamonds, gold, and extra helpful items. After grabbing essential tools, stopping by a village and a second desert temple, he located a lava pool and entered the nether at 3 minutes and 56 seconds. He located a bastion, looted that bastion's chalice of gold, and then traded it to the piglins, then rushing over to a fortress. After acquiring six blaze rods, he exited the nether, located the stronghold with two eye of ender throws, and built a second portal, entering himself into the stronghold. Since he's running all advancements, he's going to need to do a lot of enchanting later on. So he reads the stronghold of most its books, and then entered the end, and to end off the first major checkpoint of the run, he killed the dragon. He escaped to the outer end islands, and right off the bat, went straight for an end city with an end ship. At 23 minutes, he got an elytra, giving him the sky's the limit advancement, followed by a ton of end rating to get stacked gear to last him out the run. Now that he had everything he currently needed from the end, he absolutely launched Ashoka into orbit, sending it through an end gateway back to the central island, and after performing a massacre on Enderman and sending the Shulker back through to the overworld, he began the real beginnings of the run. From here on out, at different intervals of time, you'll see Feinberg slowly dig away at larger advancements, some being killing every mob, having every effect applied at once, eating everything that is edible, even if it is bad for you, and so much more. I won't be notifying you on every single time a new mob is killed, new biome discovered, or small achievement completed, but I will still continue to cover the bulk of the run. One sleep later, Feinberg began the grind again. The first thing he set off to do was to enchant as much gear as he possibly could. Various different enchantments were obtained, and after looting multiple temples, he found a god apple, and not too long after, a second one, being absolutely vital for the advancements like how did we get here, and a balanced diet. With even more good RNG, by just 51 minutes, Feinberg had tamed every cat variant, completing his catalogue, with this being considered a hard advancement, sometimes moving into the hours until completed, Feinberg is on a pretty fantastic pace. After a long and tedious task of bringing two pandas together through the night, he in the end bred up those pandas, and shortly after, did the same with two ocelots. At this point, he was already an hour through the run, and almost halfway through completing all the advancements too. And to add to that, not only did he find a mesa, but a mushroom island just minutes after, stopping by some mushrooms to help start a family, and cows too while while he was at it. As the seasons changed, he stopped by an igloo, let himself in and queued a zombie villager, getting the zombie doctor advancement. He then threw a great deal of pearls in order to kill the hardest mob in Minecraft, hiring some help to do so, helped out the ecosystem, and then bullseyed a target, surpassing the halfway mark just an hour and 11 minutes into the run. After killing two birds with one arrow, he killed drowns until he got a trident. At 1.25, he found a Forest Hills, completing the Adventuring Time advancement, meaning he got all of the rarest biomes before a Forest variant. Average or advancements run. Using the trident he got earlier, he enchanted it with channeling, which would be vital for a potential thunderstorm later on. Like I mentioned before, there are two advancements that come from tridents, a throwaway joke and very very frightening. Very very frightening, needing a thunderstorm to pull off, since channeling is needed to harness the lightning strike onto a villager to turn it into a witch. All Feinberg can hope is that the luck goes in his favour, and he gets the low chance of a thunderstorm sometime soon. Soon it was, 
because after Feinberg came back from a quick nether trip, he noticed darkness in the clouds and knew a thunderstorm had started. He absolutely booked it to a nearby village and launched a trident at the villager, with enough time to spare, completing quite possibly two of the most RNG dependent advancements. Being the menace he is, he trapped five mobs in a hole and shot them all to death at once with a piercing four crossbow, getting the arbalistic advancement. With just one hour left on the clock until Feinberg finishes the run, it's hard to fathom how much he still has left to do with just an hour left to go. At 1.50, he obtained all the Nautilus shells he needed for his conduit to help with the how did we get here advancement. Ticking off another difficult task, and in celebration, he shot a skeleton from 50 blocks away, getting the sniper duel advancement. Just to add the icing to the cake, Feinberg only had to fight off fortress mobs, with the skeletons in particular, for just four minutes before he had all the skulls he needed. Next step, absolutely nuke the shit out of the nether for ancient debris, and since he got a netherite ingot from a bastion chest earlier on in the run, he only needs four more ingots rather than five, which genuinely makes a huge difference. By two hours and 20 minutes, he was out of the nether with all the debris he needed. And with the run nearing its end, he's now going to begin what he knows better than anybody on the planet. How did we get here? He first set up a beacon base using all the gold he gathered from monuments and bastions throughout the run then activated a conduit. With all his serious dedication, he was rewarded by being covered in debris, and using his shiny new outfit, he fought off the wither to complete his beacon base with an actual beacon. He then tested his armor once more against a raid, wiping through each wave with ease. He brewed up his potions, teamed up with a dolphin, and flew past a monument for mining fatigue, and then asked himself, how did I get here? Oh, Feinberg is the only person in this entire planet that has pulled off what he has holding the record for 11 consecutive times now, being the only person to ever pull off a sub three, three times in fact, and now it's time for him to add one more to that list. We have to say he changed the world, okay? Okay? <laughs> when I originally made this script about his 2 hour 51 minute world record way back in May of this year, I referred to him as the king of all advancements, both how large his knowledge of the game is, his consistency, his skill set, top times abroad every category, top 2 in the most contested category, and the world record in the most time-consuming, painstakingly long and tedious category, I genuinely think that with all these aspects put together gives me the right to mark Feinberg as the king of Minecraft speedrunning.